بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله عن جابر بن عبد الله رضي الله تعالى عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال اتقوا الظلم فإن الظلم ظلمات يوم القيامة واتقوا الشحة فإن الشحة أهلك أهلك من كان قبلكم حملهم على سفك دماءهم وأستحل بحارمهم رواه مسلم إن حديث جابر من أبي الله رضي الله تعالى عنه رضي الله تعالى عنهما he said that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said fear or beware of dhulm, of oppression for verily oppression will be darkness on the day of judgment or it will be amplified as an oppression meaning you're going to get it back for what you did in this life wa'iyadhan billah min dhulm and fear miserliness being miserly for verily miserliness is what destroyed those who came before you and it caused them to spill blood to begin to spill blood and to make lawful to those people who were protected meaning that it could have been their aunts and uncles and mu and daughters and what have you that were prohibited for them it began to cause them to make those things which were unlawful lawful for them and this is collected in Sahih Muslim Ahabatifillah it shows us the danger of two characteristics there number one is oppression that we have to do our best not to oppress anyone in any form. That includes those who are charged authority over, for example, the husband over his wife or wives, or the husband over their children, or the, I mean the father over his children, or the mother over her children, or even the mother can, the wife can oppress the husband, or the husband and the wife, or whatever the situation may be, those who charge, who you're charged an authority over. Likewise, you can take the right of the workers, the people who are your who work for you, who do who who try to earn a wage or a livelihood from you giving them employment, or for example, the leader over the 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 general people of a society. So all of that oppression that we have engaged in in this life it will come back to us and it'll be amplified and it will cause us a great possibly a great torment in the hereafter but you will get it back the prophet said it took a dawah to madhloom fear the the dua the supplication of the person who's oppressed if they're truly oppressed may allah forgive us for any and all forms of oppression that we've already done and may Allah forgive us for that which we will done and protect us from not doing it. Preserve us and protect us from oppression and protect us from being oppressed. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. The second characteristic of Habitat Allah that was mentioned in this hadith was that being miserly and the dangers of miserliness and it caused all kind of other sins began to stem because when a person's really greedy and really miserly and so forth that greed can cause people to kill that greed can cause people to oppress that greed can cause people to harm others and wish others harms and envy and hatred and jealousy so we want to be away from all of those evil characteristics that Allah has prohibited and we want to be the best that we can be. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.